Okay, now I want to discuss um, writing down a chess game. So chess notation, and a lot of times it's called the chess score. And I've actually expanded my view in my chess uh, engine to show uh, the por a, a portion of the score sheet. Um, so this is the, the actual game here, and this is where we're going to record the moves in the uh, chess score sheet. So how do we record chess moves? Well, as you've noticed, hopefully in the videos, that um, you've seen these letters here and these numbers here. So each chess square has a unique identifier, like this one right here is called E4. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to identify um, how you record chess notation is you're going to specify where the piece ends up. This is called short algebra algebraic notation. So uh, you just record the final destination of the piece. And then there's a couple of rules that I want to show you. So, and how do we distinguish between the pieces? Well, if the piece is a, if it's a pawn, we don't prefix the square at all. And, and I'll be showing you this. So a pawn has no letter. Um, we use an R for rook an N for knight, because both knight and king start with a K, so N is for knight, um, B is for bishop, Q is for queen, K is for king. And um, just, uh, I'll be getting to this, but we use X for capture, a plus for check, and then a double plus or a, a pound symbol means checkmate. We'll get to there, so, so let's just let's just play a game and write down the notation and I think that's the easiest way to explain it so let me make sure my chess engine is off so let's say I move this pawn right here so as we see this is called E4 because the destination square is E and 4 and we move it a pawn so we don't put a capital letter before it so that is E4 that is the move E4 now let's say black decided to move the pawn the here. So usually, as you notice, we have line one. So white will write, uh, white's move occurs sort of on the left, uh, left side, and black's move occurs on the right side of this line. So this is white's move, and then over on this side will be black's move. So black's move is that the destination square, as we can see, is E and 5. It moved a pawn, so there's no capital letter associated with it. So this move here for black is called e5. Now let's say white made move the knight to here. Now notice this is knight to f3, in f3, because we moved a knight. Remember the, pre the capital letter we use for a knight is n, and the destination square is f and 3. So in f3, knight to f3. Let's say black moved the knight to here. So, in for knight, and then the square is f and 6, so that's a destination square. So, knight in f6 is knight to square f6. Let's say black moved the bishop to here. Well, bishop is a capital B, and the square is c and 4. So, we would write down b, c, 4. Capitals, you know, or capital B, lowercase c, 4. Now let's say black decided to capture this pawn here. So to show the capture, coming back to here just to show, again, we use an X for capture and a plus for check. Okay, so now you may be wondering why, why isn't this move just not knight to e4? Well, we want to show that black actually captured something that was on e4 originally. So that's why we use x. So this move is not, so black's move here is not um, in e4. It's knight x e4. So knight took something on e4. So the knight ended up on e4, but it took something. It ended up being a pawn. You just have to know that. So. Now let's say white makes the move, this move. So the bishop moves to f7, actually captures a pawn. So this would be capital B, X, F7, because the bishop moved, it captured a pawn, 
and its final destination score is F7, and it gave check, so we write a plus symbol next to it. So for uh, a check, we write a plus symbol. Now let's say the king captures the bishop, so we'd write K, X, so king moved, it captured, so we write an X, and the destination square was F7. Now let's say we, the knight comes to here, so the knight moves to e5, but it captures a pawn. So we write capital N, x, because we capture a pawn there. And then e5 is a square. And then we're actually checking the king, so we write a plus. So it's knight x e5 plus. Okay, so that's some basic moving and capturing. Okay, now I want to show some other special notation like pawn promotion, uh, where two pieces can move to the same square on passant, things like that, castling. So let's just, I uh, don't have too much time, but let's do pawn promotion. It's white to move, and white can move the pawn here and promote. So how would we reflect that? Well, if we move the pawn here and promote it to a queen, then as you can see, the notation would be A8Q. A lot of people would probably write A8 equals Q, but that's technically wrong. Um, or um, I think actually also acceptable is A8 slash Q, but a, an equal sign in chess actually means a draw, but very, um, very common to see A8 equals queen to show that the pawn went to A8 and the promote, the piece that was promoted to was a queen. So that's just pawn promotion. So now let's show in an en passant. Let's say now black moves right here. So black moves h5 because it, the final destination square is h5, you know, and it was a pawn. But now white has the opportunity to take on passant like this. How we show that? Well, it's as if the pawn was just on the h6 square anyway. So it's actually g captures x h6. Now, a lot of times you'll see people write EP right after this for en passant. So that's very common to see. So, but the, um, technically you can just write G takes H6, but a lot of people write, will write EP next to this. Um, now let's say black decides to move one of its rooks. Let's say it decides to move a rook to here. Let's say it was this rook. Well, actually, it would just be captured by the knight. Let's say it decides to move it here. Let's say it decided to move this rook to here. Now notice either one of these rooks could have moved to here. So in this case, when a, when a, when two pieces can move to the same square, it's usually going to be a rook or a knight. One, you specify here, <coughs> noticed it was rook on eight to d6. So we specify when two pieces can move the same thing, you're always going to have rather, you're going to specify the column number, A meaning A through H, or the row number, 1 through 8. And the rule is usually you specify the column number before the row number when possible. Now in practice, people usually will just write either whatever feels comfortable to them that they can do, but sometimes um, only one can be written like this case, since the rooks are on both the same on the D column, it has to be the row that's specified. Okay, now let me show you another example of this. Let's say white decides to move the knight to here. Notice that it was knight on GD2, because technically it could have been either knight that moved to here. And you could have said, so now you could see this move, so knight on g, because we always specify the column before the row. Some people would actually write knight on 1, because it's on row 1, the e2. That would be acceptable in common notation, but technically it's knight on g to e2, because usually you always specify the, the column before the row. But in practice, it's basically either one. Now what about castling? Well, first we just have to make a move, so let's say black takes that pawn. And then now castling, white can castle to either side. I'm running out of time, so I'm going to have to make this quick. Now, if white castles to the king's side, which is this side, we write O-O. -O. 
Okay, that's castling, sometimes called castling short, or to the king side. So this is the king side of the board. But if white castled queen side, like this, whoops. I know why it won't let me castle, because I can't castle through check. Well, if you if the white castle did castle this side, instead of being O dash O, it would be O dash O dash O. That represents that the king actually castled to the queen side of the board. That's how you would reflect uh, queen side castling instead of king side castling. So it would, king side is O dash O, queen side is O dash O dash O, and that's it for this video.